Donald Trump continues to cast doubt or outright say the election in Arizona was fraudulent and support Carrie Lake's claims that she's the rightful governor and something fishy was going on. And he went as far as to say, this is bonkers. She needs to be quote unquote installed governor of Arizona. Installed. That language, while we'll get to how it could be dangerous, is in very simply, the most intellectual word I can think of, stupid. Um, <laughs> because what does that even mean? In a democracy, leaders aren't installed. Like dictators get installed or they install themselves with a military coup or something. It is so strange. The dangerous component, where then we'll look at the uh, message on True Social from Trump, the dangerous component is by saying this, what is that? Who's going to install Kerry Lake? Well, it's not going to be the government of Arizona, because they're planning to certify Katie Hobbs. It's not going to be the military. That, that has no likelihood of being the case. Hmm, it's not going to be Carrie Lake herself. She's not going to go in like a ninja and beat everyone up and <laughs> become governor. It's not going to be Trump because he's just a civilian right now. Oh, maybe it's the MAGA people in Arizona that should install Carrie Lake. Like they tried to, I guess it's not installed because he was already installed, but keep Trump in power on January 6th by preventing the certification. So that's what's really scary about this. But look at this bizarre and unhinged true social message from Trump. Massive numbers of broken, in all caps, in quotes too, no clue why that is, voting machines in Republican districts on election day. Mechanics sent into quote, again, all caps, fix them, made them worse. Kerry had to be taken to a Democrat area, which was working perfectly to vote. Her opponent ran the election. This is yet another, again, elections capitalized, no clue why. This is yet another <laughs> criminal voting operation. So obvious, Carrie Lake should be installed governor of Arizona. This is almost as bad as the 2020 presidential election, which the unselect committee refuses to touch because they know it was fraudulent and fraudulent is capitalized. So the funny thing, I was talking with someone over the uh, Thanksgiving period of time about how what's very helpful to helpful excuse me to these conspiracy theorists is the more layers of conspiracy theory that you add on and the longer the time goes that people have been propagandized the easier it is to spread a theory okay what i mean by that is you're now able to derive stuff from past theories that weren't true to prove current theories that aren't true. And so there he says, this is almost as bad as the 2020 presidential election. And to my ears, that just means it was as bad as a free and fair election, meaning it was good, awesome, sweet, Arizona crushed it then. Because all of the investigations showed that the 2020 presidential election was really good as far as elections go and absolutely yielded the proper results as far as the will of the people and their votes and how that was reflected in who became president. But to a MAGA ear, that means it's horrible and it was stolen. So they don't even have to prove or they don't even have to specify the claims they're making because they've already weighed, put so much weight and uh, stuffed these words with so much prior meaning with prior conspiracy theories, which means to unravel their beliefs on these things would take so long because this is connected to that, this is connected to that, and then we go all the way back to their original conspiracy that they were told way back when, and that's incredibly hard to do. Here's another one of his messages uh, that he sent out. What are they doing in Arizona about the large number of voting machines in Republican areas? They just happen to be, so just so you know, all these claims are completely uh, wrong. To be broken on election day with tens of thousands of voters, and we talked about the only little tiny kernel of truth they're deriving this from is the uh, tabulators that had some issues at the beginning, they got them fixed, no voters were prevented from voting, and no uh, votes that were cast were not counted. With tens of thousands of voters standing in line for hours, unable to vote, they left the voting lines in complete exa ex exasperation, unable to return when mechanics went in to fix. Why are all these things in quotations? Mechanics, you know, <laughs> oh, mechanics. Uh, went in to fix the machines, they got worse. Carrie Lake couldn't even vote in her own district. Voter fraud, do the election over, or declare Carrie, Blake, Abe, the winners act fast. So just randomly, you have a few options. Trump's very generous with his options. Either you can install <laughs> Carrie Lake as governor, even mm. though she lost, 
or you can do another election over again. But be warned, if you do that, which there's no legal constitutional process to do that, but if you were to do that somehow and Carrie Lake lost again, you would have to do another one until she wins. <laughs> um, just be warned. Or just declare all of these people the winners. Okay, um, those are your options. And here's Marjorie Green weighing in on this whole thing. Just the true uh, wise voice on the right giving her take. I mean, I'm calling it straight out election fraud in mm. Arizona. Uh, I can't see how Carrie Lake didn't win. They, they have serious election problems in that state, along with many other states. I mean... So she said, I cannot see how Carrie Lake lost. So let me try to break it down. Marjorie, dear Marjorie, <laughs> in elections, you're trying to compete for more votes, okay? In these types of statewide gubernatorial and senatorial races uh, and many other, it's just whichever person can get more votes than the other. Sometimes in the presidential, there's electoral college and it gets different, but very simply, in the gubernatorial race in Arizona, whoever got more votes was going to become the governor. <laughs> Katie Hobbs, the Democrat, got more votes than Carrie Lake. So you you were confused. You said, I don't see how Carrie Lake could possibly come. That's how, okay? She got less votes than the Democrat. Honestly, I don't think she'll, she'll even understand that. You don't think so? <laughs> Too complicated. <laughs> yeah, but, but she got, but she lost. She was supposed to win though. Sometimes it goes that way, Marge. This is really scary. As wacko as it is and as funny sometimes the stupidity can be, it is dangerous mm. because we've seen what type of violent action this can lead to. And that is what I'm hoping will not happen uh, in Arizona. Thank you so much for watching. If you want to be a part of what makes this show possible, plus get access to the full video version of the show hours before any of the clips are uploaded to YouTube, plus get access to an extra full show every Saturday that only members can see, you can do so by going to patreon.com slash Luke Beasley. That's patreon.com slash Luke Beasley. And there is a link in the description.